What's up everybody? Today I'll be doing a review on 17 Chung Chung Changa. You know what I'm saying? And I'll actually have my piano pulled up right here. And I was hearing the intro and I was hearing piano and I was like, wow, this is so cool. I should show them as I'm doing reaction what kind of chords they're playing why are they playing those chords to just break it down to you and give a li little reaction video to it all right before i move on i have an incredible 21 days for free k-pop summer song cam what this is is we are going to teach you all about how to make great k-pop music and i'm making a really affordable 21 days for free and then only 40 days to stay longer after that to learn from all these great great k-pop producers we have an incredible lineup and we're going to also have a songwriting camp where everyone's going to be paired in a group to learn and to make songs together we also have beginners track and we also have awards worth of $2,500 for the best group that come out from this camp watch out is going to be open for registration on May 24 so I'll see you guys there it's just going to be one click for you guys to join the discord channel where we do the songwriting camp I hope to see you guys especially the ones who are passionate about making k-pop music or if you are dreaming about making k-pop music all right are you ready so ready when we hear the intros we can see that it's a very inspirational song we can hear that it's a very like almost like a ballad but I feel like it's not gonna just stay as a ballad and the chord progressions are very K-pop style like like that so that's a very K-pop chord progression it's a one doing like a minor two five one and then another two five one these are the chords and the type of feel that we've been missing these days i feel like i'm so glad they're bringing that stuff back wow amazing so it's gonna be like inspirational fan song wow. if you look at the song form it starts I think this is the chorus, right? It doesn't feel like a verse, actually. So I love that. We're starting with the chorus right away. We're hitting with that big, um, catchy, -na 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 -na, you know? Oh. Woo. That's crazy instrumentation right there. Oh. Wow, yo! Woo, the big band stuff, you know? All the instruments together, and it almost feels like it has that J-pop uh, feel to it. So it's like K-pop and J-pop combined together. Nothing Western about this song right here. And sometimes we want to see that, right? Sometimes the fans are missing that stuff, right? Just make it pure Asian, like pure Korean j-pop feel let's see where we go from here so we're only hitting the verse now see those like that stuff love that ah. So it has a very band type of vibe, right? And I love that. It's timeless. This is a very timeless song right here. Oh, that chord right there. And that chord is it's hard, man. Oh, 
Uh-huh. Man, I want to know what the lyrics is talking about. I gotta put some caption on this. Bridge? Oh, yeah, bridge. With just a guitar. Inspiration, the vibe. Is there gonna be key change? Oh, key change! Yeah, key change is back, yo. K-pop is back. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Let's not, let's not move away from K-pop. This is the juice right here. So is it E? Yeah. Uh. Wow, do you hear the brass in the behind that too? This is gonna stay for a while. Wow, even the ending is just creative. Wow. Just, I feel like. Is this like a outro type of thing? Man, the visuals though. And the vocals too, you know? Just everything about this song. To me, just feels like a very high quality song. It just feels like a really, how do I say? One of those songs that in every section out there has been really thought through. From the intro, from the verse, from the chorus, from like the bridge section, and even the outro is never stopping to settle for something that is easy. I feel like every section has been really thought out to make it really nice, inspirational, very uh, musical, you know? It just felt like a very musical song then everybody can just celebrate too, everybody can have fun too, and I love it, and I feel like it really fits with what Seventeen is going for, and who they are, and I feel like they are unafraid to go for something that they believe in, and unafraid to present music without thinking about some kind of genre perspective what are they doing we want to be cool we want to be no they don't think about those things they just do the things that they feel passionate about and i love that about 17 and about this song guys once again i am opening a k-pop summer boot camp and this songwriting training camp you will be able to join in whether you're beginner or advanced or intermediate, 21 days for free. And only $40 even after the 21 days to stay part of this camp. And we're going to have the beginner's track. We're going to have group songwriting. You're going to learn from five big producers who are going to be teaching every single week about K-pop music songwriting. There's also going to be an opportunity to pitch good songs to K-pop labels. And we have awards ready to be sent worth of $2,500. I feel like it's going to be an incredible opportunity, not only for those who are really talented, but people who want to learn how to make K-pop music because I come from that background of nobody teaching me how to do all these things I had to learn from the ground up and I made this platform called Umzi Music so that I can teach you guys, guide you guys so you can go for your dreams. All right. Well, everybody have a good day. I'm checking out. Going to go make some cool K-pop music today. 
I'm so glad I heard this song today. Peace.